Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today I will be doing an unboxing and setup of this, the Behringer Euphoria UMC22 and it says it is the audiophile 2x2 USB audio interface with Midas mic preamplifier. On the front of the box we've got a picture of the front of the unit, on the back there is a picture of the back of the unit and that is pretty much it. So I will get straight into the unboxing. I've already cut the tape and then the box opens straight up. And then in here we've got our quick start guide and our documents as well as a Behringer sticker. That is nice to see that they've included a sticker in there. I won't be taking a look in this manual now, but if you want to, then of course you can. Then next in the box we get the unit itself, it's in some polystyrene, and if I take that off both sides, here is the unit wrapped in plastic, but in the side of the polystyrene, that is where we get our USB cable. So this is USB a to B I believe. The B goes into the back of the unit and the A goes into your computer. Okay so unwrapping the plastic on the unit here we can take it out of the bag and straight away I can see that the main body of this is a nice metal. We also get some silica gel in there as well. I'll move that off. Here is the front of the unit. The front is glossy black plastic. There is currently some protective film over that which you can remove if you want to. Then here is our XLR input. You can also plug in a quarter inch audio input into there if you like. Next up we've got our second input, another quarter inch. Then we have the control for the Midas preamp. You can change the volume here just like that then the next dial is to adjust the gain for the second input so the first one is for the first input which is this one the second is for that and the third dial is to change the output volume just like that then we can also turn on direct monitoring so we can listen to the audio through this headphone output there and if you look on there it says power and 48 volt. This does have 48 volt phantom power and you can turn that on around the back just with this switch here. Now speaking of the back, this is where we plug it into our computer over the USB. There's also a Kensington lock on here which is nice to see so you can secure it so no one tries to steal it. And then here is our right and left outputs. So that's pretty much it for the actual unit. We've got a logo on the top. There's also some more information about the products on the bottom. We've also got some nice rubber feet so the device won't slip around on the desk. That is very, very sturdy on there. So as I said, this is metal with plastic on the front. These dials are plastic, but they feel quite sturdy. They don't feel like they're going to fall off or anything like that. And this is quite a cheap unit, about 35 to 40 pounds on Amazon at the moment. So far, just looking at the build quality, that does seem to be a pretty good price. So now we've taken a look at it and got it out of the box, it's time to set it up. Now I will be setting this up on my Mac, but it does also work on Windows and Linux as well. So there are actually drivers you can get for this unit online, however it will also work natively with most computers, so Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So all we need to do is on the back of the unit plug in the included USB cable, just like that, that's now plugged in, and then we plug the other end into our computer. So I will now do that and now we will jump into a screen recording. Okay, so within Mac OS, there is a couple of ways that you can use this audio interface. For the purpose of this video, I will be plugging a microphone into the first input, which is XLR. So I will now plug that into the unit and power on the back of the unit because that's what this microphone requires. So the software we are going to use is GarageBand included for free on Macs. It has been for quite a long time. So we are going to 
go and open a new project we will choose an empty project in here i will go on audio and record using a microphone or line input we will create with that and down here in recording settings you can see there is only built-in microphone so what i'm going to do is go into system preferences go down to sound and go to input now for input what we need to do is then go to usb audio codec select that and that will now be our audio input we can just minimize out of that so now we can select usb audio codec as the input but before we press record we won't get any sound that's because on the front of the unit we need to have a look at the dial so the first dial changes the gain for the first input we can move that to whatever we want there isn't a set amount every microphone will be different so you will have to experiment with that then we can ignore the second dial then we can go straight to the last which is the volume of the output again you've just got to experiment i'm going to put my output all the way up to full i've put my input to about half that might be fine it might not so now we can try recording hello hello this now should be recording what i am saying now if we listen to that and that did indeed record what i'm saying that was a little quiet so i can increase the gain on the unit not too much and you can use the little lights it tells you when it's detecting a signal and also when you are clipping so i turn it up all the way me talking normally does now make it clip which will not sound good at all so you've got to be careful of that but it's good that it does show you on the front in real time so that is how to set it up on mac os this interface is only mono so you may only get a left track when using this now in garage band by default it does play out of both left and right but let's say you are recording in something else such as in quicktime audio that then does only play back in the left speaker so if we go and play something which i did just record that only comes out of the left speaker so what i have done to make it come out of both for this video is in editing so in final cut pro on this computer i've only got the trial but that does not make a difference what i have done is i went to the audio which is just here and i went and set it to dual mono by default it was on stereo and only coming out of the left but when i put it to dual mono it comes out both the left and the right okay so that is how to set up this audio interface right now you are listening to the audio coming straight out of my camera and now you are listening to the audio coming through this microphone into the audio interface then being recorded onto my computer right now the input is on about half and it is displaying on the unit that it is getting a signal and it is not saying that i am clipping i'm now going to turn it up all the way and now that is clipping i will reduce the volume for this bit because it probably will hurt your ears so i'll turn that back down to about half and that should be just about fine so i think that that is pretty much it for this video hopefully it was interesting in some way and you found something out about this unit it's really quite simple to set up so you should not really have any trouble with it so thank you for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye